Hello and welcome back to our Tuesday Tutorials. I'm Zane Condren, Senior Video Specialist here at NewTek, and today I'm going to be showing you how to update the firmware on your NewTek Connect Spark. In the box with your NewTek Connect Spark, there's a printed card, and on that card is a link to the NewTek Connect Spark webpage, which I'm going to go ahead and visit here, which is new.tk slash ncsinfo all lowercase. This is going to congratulate you for purchasing your Spark and it's going to give you the ability to download the Spark user manual, the firmware for both the SDI and the HDMI version, as well as the latest NDI HX driver. I'm going to go ahead and download the firmware to my video mix engine here. The firmware is actually going to be a zipped file. So after it downloads, you're going to have to remove the bin file, which contains the firmware, from the zip file. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my Connect Spark to input 1 here. I'm going to go down here and find it. I'm going to click the configure button from in the input panel and then I'm going to log in. Remember the default username and password is admin admin and we highly recommend you change it after you do your firmware update. Here on the administration screen I can go over here and choose update firmware. This is going to tell you the hardware version, the current firmware and the serial number of your Spark. I'm going to go ahead and choose the firmware that I want to upgrade to and hit update firmware. So the firmware has been uploaded and verified. We're going to go ahead and reboot the Spark. Once it's updated, we can perform a factory reset on it by inserting a paper clip to this reset button right next to the power switch underneath one of the Wi-Fi antennas and holding for five seconds. When you do that, the tally lights on the front of the unit will flash and then blink solid once it has been reset to factory defaults. Once you've reset your Connect Spark, you're going to have to reset up your wireless connections as well as your recording options your static IPs if you've been using it, and any other things you've configured on the Spark, including username and password. If you need detailed instructions on upgrading your firmware, we include a how-to guide with the firmware download. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week.